Boeing has completed the initial flight of the UK Royal Air Force's future E-7 Wedgetail early warning and control aircraft at the Birmingham Airport in England. E-7 Wedgetail will be a new cutting-edge surveillance fleet of aircraft based at Royal Air Force Lossiemouth in Scotland. E-7 Wedgetail will replace the E-3D Sentry fleet and deliver the next generation of the Royal Air Force's airborne early warning and control capability to detect and help overcome both current and future complex threats. The E-7 Wedgetail is the most capable and effective airborne early warning and control platform in operation today, capable of simultaneously tracking multiple airborne and maritime targets. The E-7 aircraft uses the information it gathers to improve situational awareness and direct assets such as fighter jets and warships for potential strike missions. The three aircraft fleet will enable the UK to deliver its national and international commitments, including for NATO. The aircraft are based on a Boeing 737NG airliner, but being modified to carry a sophisticated Northrop Grumman active electronically scanned radar. It is housed in a distinctive fin on the spine of the aircraft and will provide 360-degree coverage. Once in service Wedgetail will be operated by 8 Squadron at Royal Air Force Lossiemouth, already the home of the P-8 Poseidon Maritime Patrol and Reconnaissance Aircraft Fleet. The aircraft has previously been used by the Royal Australian Air Force on operations against Daesh in Iraq and Syria. In April 2022, the US Air Force announced its decision to procure E-7 to replace some of its aging E-3 Sentry Fleet. The first E-7 Wedgetail AEW-MK-1 aircraft, being procured by DE&S for the Royal Air Force, has taken to the sky for its maiden test flight. Currently unpainted, the aircraft flew from Birmingham Airport where it underwent its initial build phase with STS Aviation. Wedgetail, which will operate from Royal Air Force Lossiemouth, is the most technologically advanced airborne early warning and control system available and will provide UK defense with eyes in the sky for at least the next 20 years capable of generating a 360-degree view of the airspace and as a force multiplier. It will provide advanced warning of approaching threats and enable commanders to fight effectively in complex environments. The E-7 Wedgetail modification program has created more than 100 highly skilled jobs in the Birmingham area. Overall, the program is expected to create some 700 jobs across the UK, with more than 300 of these already established. Boeing has completed the initial flight of the UK Royal Air Force's future E-7 Wedgetail early warning and control aircraft at the Birmingham Airport in England. The event saw the company's flight test team conduct functional checks of the system before its launch. The plane will undergo additional live assessments as part of the program's primary evaluation phase this autumn. Boeing will also send the aircraft to another center that will finalize the hull's livery outfitting. The E-7 Wedgetail has a 34-meter 112-foot fuselage and a 36-meter 118-foot wingspan. It is flown by two pilots, with functions run by up to 10 mission personnel. In 2022, the UK's first E-7 platform received its main sensor suite. The Wedgetail is powered by turbofans for a range of 6,500 kilometers 4,039 miles, a speed of 853 kilometers 530 miles per hour. The aircraft will now fly to another location to be painted in Royal Air Force livery before returning to Birmingham to complete installation of the mission system. Due to enter service with the first aircraft delivered next year, the three aircraft fleet will operate from Royal Air Force Lossiemouth where a new engineering line building. Accommodation and squadron facilities have been or are being constructed in readiness for their arrival capable of fulfilling a wide range of missions. Wedgetail will provide high fidelity and accurate target information using its cutting-edge multi-role electronically scanned array sensor housed in a distinctive fin on the spine of the aircraft. The sensor, combined with an advanced communication suite, enables the crew to provide tactical control to other assets via voice and tactical data links, while enhancing the situational awareness of Joint Force Commanders. This safe and systematic functional check flight is an important step for Boeing and the Royal Air Force as part of rigorous and extensive testing and evaluation. Achieving the first flight of Wedgetail is a significant milestone, representing an outstanding effort from the Royal Air Force program team, DE&S, Boeing and STS Aviation Services. Boeing VP and E7 program manager Stu Voberil remarked,
our team is committed to ensuring the E7 delivers the safety, quality, and capabilities we've promised to our customer as we prepare for delivery of the UK's first E7 Wedgetail to the Royal Air Force. The UK's Wedgetail initiative involved the construction of hangars in Lossiemouth, Scotland, last year to support the Wedgetail's in-country engineering works. The site will house works for the three upcoming E7s as well as other military aircraft once the program concludes. London announced the inauguration of the $103 million centre in September 2024. It will be managed by over 175 on-site personnel at the project's peak. The E7 delivery team is responsible for managing the delivery of the aircraft. Infrastructure investment, a comprehensive support package, transition into service and supporting contracts to quality, time and cost. In addition to the delivery of three aircraft, the project team will oversee Boeing's commitment to invest in local economy to ensure development of the supply chain. We're proud of the robust E7 modification line we've stood up in the UK to deliver the Royal Air Force's future airborne early warning and control fleet. Boeing UK, Ireland and the Nordic's president Maria Lane commented. We are committed to delivering this crucial capability to support the UK's national security and contribute toward regional stability. Group Captain Richard Osselton, Royal Air Force Program Director for Wedgetail, said, Achieving the first flight of Wedgetail is a significant milestone, representing an outstanding effort from the Royal Air Force Program Team, DE&S, Boeing and STS Aviation Services. We will now build on this success and look forward to continuing the test and evaluation phase as part of our preparations for the aircraft to enter service with the Royal Air Force. Stu Voberil, Boeing Vice President and E-7 Program Manager, said, This safe and systematic functional check flight is an important step for Boeing and the Royal Air Force as part of our rigorous and extensive testing and evaluation. Our team is committed to ensuring the E-7 delivers the safety, quality, and capabilities we've promised to our customer as we prepare for delivery of the UK's first E-7 Wedgetail to the Royal Air Force in 2025.